Hey, <coughs> this is a video on how to set up your Dazzle to an HD TV, and my TV is a 720p, and I have the Dazzle uh, DVC 100. So this is what you need to set it up. I got Dazzle itself right here and going to use two splitters uh, one male two female and the composite cable with the three RCA adapters the red white and yellow going into the red white and yellow so this is all you need for it alright let's set it up Alright, so first thing you want to do is take the USB cord from your Dazzle and plug it into your computer. And I'll do that now. I'm actually using my laptop as as a, a webcam for this video. <clears throat> so I plugged it in and I have this green light on which means it's working. So that's good right now. And now you gotta plug in the two splitters and doesn't matter which one just take it and I'm going to use the white and the red for these two splitters so I'll take one put it in the white take the other one put it in the red and so now you have your two splitters right here now you're going to take your long wire, the RCA cable, with the three colors on each side. Take one end, with the three colors, and we're not going to use the yellow, so let that one go. And let's see, we'll do the red first, the red output, which is this right one. So just take the red wire and put it in one of these outputs. It's kind of confusing because my ends are red and white when some some of the splitters they're just black so don't pay attention to these colors just like focus on this red and uh, so yeah so put the red composite cable into one of the ends <coughs> and then take the other ends the white output on the left side and this has two ends and put the white composite cable into one of these ends so now you have the red output with one end of the composite cable the red plugged in and the other one is open and you have the white output with the white composite cable plugged in and the red one which is free and one side is free so that's good and now you want to set up your Xbox wires your HD wires into your TV so take your red green and blue and just plug them in your TV like you normally would you do green blue and red and with these wires there will be a white one I mean a sorry a yellow one <laughs> and you want to take the yellow one and this is going to be the one that we plug into the yellow part of the dazzle so take the yellow wire put it in here so that's good so you have them that plugged in and now take your Xbox wires again and these are the red and white ones 
and you're going to put these into the open ends of the splitters that we did earlier. So I'll take take this red one, the red side output, which already has the red composite cable in there, and take the other end of it and put the red Xbox wire in there. So now your red output has the composite cable right here and the Xbox wire plugged in and that goes into the red. And then do the same thing for the white. Now it came out. Here I'll just put it back in. So you put the composite cable into one end, the white one, and then you're going to take the actual Xbox wire and put that into the other end. So now you have the white output on the left, which has the two, the composite cable right here plugged in and the white Xbox wire plugged in to both the slots and that goes into the white one so that's all done and now you take the other end of your composite cable of the red, white, and yellow and you're going to again not use the yellow one and we're just going to use these red and white ones and you're going to put that into your TV audio and sound inputs and for my TV the red and white slots are right under the red green and blue so I'll just put that in now it was white and then red that's it now it kinda looks like a lot but if you listen carefully and paid attention I guess it's, it should be right. And if you use the three splitters instead of two, and you take a, and you put a splitter in the yellow slot, and then put your two yellow ones into that for the video, it'll still work. But your TV will have to be on standard definition. So uh, if you do it this way, you can have it on HD and still record because it, it doesn't let you record if you're in HD usually but if you do it this way it does so it works but uh... so yeah on your xbox on that switch on the back you're going to make sure that it's still changed to standard tv but when you actually play just go on your hd channel or whatever channel you play on normally and it'll be on hd there So. Thanks for watching, and I hope this helped you out.